What's going on and welcome back. Man, it's hard to believe we have been back from Ford Takeover for a week already. Man, time flies, I tell you. But we got some work to do to the car. Um, I really want to get back to the track, but before I do that, I got to figure out this knock issue. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting what I think is false knock, so man, I need to figure it out and um, test another tune for uh, winger tuning. We're trying to get the cruise control to work. Um, he's got a couple of tunes for me to try, but the big focus is the knock. I got to figure out where this false knock is coming from because man, if I don't, uh, I really don't want to turn off the knock sensors if I can help it. So, man, I want to get the, I want to get that figured out so we can run the full 18 or so, whatever it is, degrees of timing because we're stuck at 16 right now and uh, make some more power with this car and go faster. So anyway, enough talking about this. Let me get busy. I'm going to switch over to my street wheels and tires because we are going to have to drive the car today. And uh, yeah, let's get this figured out. So as you can see, we got Project Stutch out up in the air, and I've removed the wheels and tires in preparation, putting street wheels back on. One thing I did want to mention is I think it's going to become a part of my routine to do inspections back here in the rear uh, after race events or after track days or whatever you want to call it, um, just to make sure everything is still good to go. I have looked it over and haven't seen anything that looks out of the ordinary, so that is awesome. Now, I was kind of worried, to be honest with you, um, that, you know, it, this car would be hard on parts back here. Um, and it probably is, but so far, so good, man. We, we, uh, we come out good after Ford Takeover, so nothing out of the ordinary, anything like that. So... Anyway, just want to throw this in here. Now, what I plan on doing is maybe kind of knocking around under here to see if I can find anything that that might be loose tapping or anything like that. So I wanted to tap on the exhaust and see if anything there was rattling. Uh, let's see. We got different tones from side to side. <laughs> uh, make sure everything is solid I can't because I can't really see anything that's the problem because I can't find anything that's touching or doing anything out of the ordinary so steering shaft looks like it's got plenty of clearance no issues there um, yeah well let me uh, let me put the camera down. Let me keep looking here, man. Hopefully, I'll find the smoking gun, something that'll you know, be like, ah, there it is. You know, get rid of that false knock and uh, throw some timing at this thing. So, anyway, let me get busy. Let me see what I can find here, and if I find anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. All right, so we are out testing out the cruise control. I've got two different tunes to try. Roll these windows up. So I've got two different tunes to try, and uh, hopefully one of them will work. Said if uh, if one doesn't work, then try the other one. So we're on the first one. We're gonna see if it works. Then drive the car, let it get warmed up a little bit. Um, haven't actually driven it in a week so want to let it get warmed up and we'll see what happens when we try out the cruise control all right so we got the car warmed up and we're gonna get up to speed here see if the cruise works Set. 
that. So now we got to flash other tunes. So we'll try that and um, man, we'll try it again. We'll be back. All right. So with the power of editing, we have got the next tune in, and we're gonna see if we can get this cruise control to work. So we get on this straight away, and we'll test it out. All right. So on the straight away, I'm gonna turn the cruise control on. Cruise control comes on, and let's see if it'll set. Here we go. Cruise control is set, so it looks like it is working. Sweet. So that is good news. Got that issue, and uh, yeah, now we gotta go back, load the next tune, and uh, see what's going on with the knock. All right, so now that the cruise control works, now I gotta run another tune that has full knock um, adjustment on it. So basically the car can, or the computer can adjust for any knock whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> the knock sensors, I guess, basically turn back up or turn back on, however you wanna call it. Um, so I did fix a, a couple things um, or looked at a couple things. Uh, one thing that I did change and I can throw a picture in here is the transmission the T56 has like a vent line that comes off the top of it now that was sitting close to the bell housing and I noticed that it could flop around um, so man it took a minute trying to get my hands up in there it was tough but I've got that tie wrap down now, so hopefully it can't flop around anymore. Maybe that's what it was picking up. I don't know, man, I hope so, because uh, that would be a simple fix, and um, I would be real happy about that. But uh, the tune is loaded up now. We've got the knock sensors fully activated, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, we're gonna go for a drive and see what I can find out. I'll probably do a short little pull in third gear I should be able to know pretty much right away considering how the car was acting before. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, man. All right, so hopefully it doesn't get too loud in here for the camera. Uh, turn the AC off because I don't want anything interfering by chance. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, do a quick little pull. Like I said, I should know right away if uh, that vent line was causing issues or not. So, all right. So, like I said, we're gonna do a little pull. Got the data log running, so we can capture a log just in case Daryl wants to see that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So as stated on the drive, still getting false knock. Uh, took the log, sent it off to Winger Tuning to see what he thinks about it. Um, good news is the cruise control is working. That's cool because, you know, it is a street car. But I do need to fix this knock issue, as I've stated many, many times. But I looked at the log myself, and as soon as I go wide open throttle, it starts a false knock um before it would kind of climb with rpm today it went straight to six degrees and stayed there during the pull so i don't know what's going on man i don't know what is up with this car i thought i might have had it fixed with that uh vent tube for the transmission but apparently that's not it or that wasn't it so that didn't solve the issue but 
I don't know. Set the log off to uh, winger tuning, like I said, and we'll wait to see what Daryl says about that and go from there. I mean, there's really not much else I can do. Um, maybe I can get somebody else over here to, you know, put another set of eyes on the car. I don't know. I mean, it's got to be something. So, but we'll see. Guess I end this one here and the saga continues. So, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we're on a mission to run 650s in the eighth, whatever that equates to in the quarter, and we'll see you on the next one.